Let's start with AI's productivity premium and adoption. What efficiency and productivity gains are SAP's solutions generating for customers in this region? First of all, thanks so much for having me. Fantastic to be with you. Look, overall, we see massive adoption, right? We have now more than 34,000 enterprise customers using our AI capabilities all across the firm, right? HR, finance, and supply chain, and procurement. And depending a little bit on the area, right, software development, and also for consultants, right? Depending on the area, we see, even without agents, I think we talk about agents in a minute, we see already uh, efficiency gains, productivity gains between 10 20 percent, right? Or maximizing inventory by 10 percent, right? On high volume business, which is huge, right? If you take about bottlers around the world, like Coca Cola, for example. And so these, these capabilities really show the benefit and also have a huge return on investment already today uh, for, for customers. And we're only getting started. So if you just put it maybe into another number, when you take a company of maybe 20,000 employees, the AI capabilities that are part of the SAP application portfolio, they round about achieve 155 million either in top line benefits or bottom line efficiencies driving for companies around the world. Having said that, uh, Philip, is there any evidence of uh, a downshift in uh, enterprise demand given these cyclical headwinds and growth concerns that we are facing? At the moment, we see just massive adoption with AI. I, I mean, it's the top topic, right, that we have either move with our private cloud offering with ERP into the cloud, as well as our public cloud offering with SAP S4HANA, and then in conjunction with AI. Those are clearly the huge growth drivers that we're seeing, right? And I mean, if you look at also our financial numbers overall, right, from Q4, which you know, right, there's a massive uh, gain there. And of course, our pipeline overall from a, from a cloud backlog perspective is, 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 is in the billions. And so we see no headwinds uh, from, from that perspective, and specifically with AI, there's a, there's a, there's a huge uh, uh, trend and demand from our customers because everybody is seeking for these efficiencies or to achieve more with less. And I think our AI offerings, because they are so deeply embedded in the business processes, is exactly what more and more customers are looking forward versus building them themselves, right? And then usually asking this return on investment question because there's a lot of, if you build it yourself, right, then there's a lot of investment you have to do up front before you can reap the benefit of AI. Yeah. So I mean, th those are pretty uh, impressive uh, productivity and also efficiency gains, those numbers that you uh, rattled off a few seconds ago. Let me ask you, though, uh, the product offering uh, from SAP the, uh, with AI in it, is it agentic AI? I think this is something you wanted to talk about, right? This is where basically you can, humans, a human being can basically more or less leave it alone to do its thing. Well, it's always a little bit of definition question also, what is an AI agent, right? And what our definition is, so what I just talked about from a numbers perspective is both classical AI and machine learning scenarios, as well as the generative AI scenarios, you know, producing content, right, for sales and services or in HR, right, or understanding documents, for example, right, to avoid data, manual data entry in the SAP system with our document information extraction service. But now, of course, we make the next leap forward with AI agents, not just generating content, right, with the help for example, of generative AI or making predictions with the help of you know, time series models. But now, of course, actually taking action, right? So make a decision and then together with the human, make a decision and automate the entire process.